How's everyone doing? In today's episode of Yu-Gi-Oh! Engineering, we'll go over something much more matter relevant than previously. Since you clicked on this video, I assume you're into cute idols, waifus, or you're just lost on the tubes. Anyway, without further ado, let's get started. Today, we're going for the Trickstar engine. Tricksters were introduced in the first Master Rule 4 pack, Code of the Duelist, all the way back in August 2017. Yes, Master Rule 4 is in effect for more than two years, deal with it! The archetype quickly became quite popular, not only due to its waifu factor, but also thanks to its hand disruptive capabilities, mostly in the form of the infamous Droll Reincarnation combo. The combo worked as follows. When the opponent had added a card from their deck to the hand, outside of the draw phase, the player would activate Trickstar Reincarnation and chain Droll and Lockbird directly to it. Once the chain was resolved, the opponent was unable to add cards thanks to the effect of Droll and Lockbird, and had to banish their entire hand due to the effect of Trickster Reincarnation, effectively leaving them with no cards in hand. That was one of the best two card combinations in the meta, mostly due to the fact that both cards were easily searchable. Nowadays, the archetype has fallen from grace, barely topping events. It was, for the most part, been relegated to a casual status. Anyway, I'm rambling at this point. Let's get to the meat and potatoes. The engine can be pretty flexible. You can either use Trick Stars as a small hand disruption engine, or use it for the Droll Reincarnation combo. Both applications are pretty much the same, at least at the base level, however, they work a little bit differently. The basic engine works by easily searching out Trick Star Reincarnation and using it to banish the opponent's hand, which essentially leaves them with a bit less options than before. The basic build of this engine is one Trick Star Light Stage, one Trick Star Candina, and one Trick Star Reincarnation. You can improve of this engine by adding more copies of each card, well, except light stage since it's limited. The engine can also be complemented by cards that can search light stage like terraforming, metaverse, or set rotation, all limited. Like all engines, tricksters have their pros and cons. When it comes to their best part, I would say, is their size. It's only a free card engine. It can pretty much fit into anything and will not disrupt the main strategy of the deck. Also, you have to notice that Candina can be used as a link material, and when resurrected by reincarnation, it can provide additional defense or be used as another link material. When it comes to the cons of this engine, I would have to say that the fact that Candina will use your normal summon if you want to search out reincarnation can be detrimental in the deck that will rely on normal summoning. It also makes your opponent refill their hand, so there is a possibility that your opponent will get a better one than previously, so you also have to take that into account. This engine can be used in pretty much any deck, especially ones that utilize field spells like 2, Draco, ABC, etc. So there's no need to run additional terraforming, metaverse, or set rotation just for the engine. It's a bit of a different story when it comes to the draw engine, which focuses on emptying the opponent's hand and making them unable to draw anymore, pretty much ending the turn. Like previously, the base of the engine is rather straightforward. Three copies of Drawn Lockbird and three copies of Trickster Reincarnation. You can build up on it with Light Stage and Candinas, so you can search Reincarnation easier. You can also use War of Dao, which is pretty much one of the only cards that can search Drawn Lockbird. Emptying the opponent's hand is the best thing about this engine. If the opponent doesn't have any resources, then they cannot play. Also, you have to notice that the engine has the basic one, the Reincarnation engine, built in it, so you can use it as a plan B. The size of this engine is its bigger downside, mostly due to the fact that when compared to the basic engine, it's pretty much doubled its size and even can go triple and quadruple when other cards are added to compensate, making it not very flexible in usage. Also, please note that it's a two card combination, and by definition, it's much harder to pull off than the basic engine, which can be started with just one card. Like mentioned previously, the usage of this engine is much more limited, mostly due to its size. The most preferable decks, though, are the ones that can easily special summon level one monster, like Sky Striker. Why? You may ask, well, that's because where are Dao, which can search out Drawn and Rockboard, requires a player to control a level 1 monster in order to be activated. That's pretty much the reason this engine was used primarily in the Trickstar Sky Striker deck. And that would be it. Cutting off your opponent's hands as if there were a thief in the Middle Ages and using waifus while doing so. I don't think there's any better feeling. When it comes to card games, of course. Well, that's essentially what Trickstars do. 
Well, anyway, see you on Twitch next Friday for some good old Duel Links action. See ya!